Boeing will be offering its second candidate's F-15EX to the Air Force for its requirement of 114 fighter jets that are to be produced domestically, bringing American aircraft tally to three after F-18 Super Hornet and the F-21 that are already on offer. Both the F-18 and the F-21 on offer to India are powered by engine manufactured by the US engine maker General Electric. But the entry of F-15EX bringing to the table engine offering from its arch rival Pratt & Whitney for the first time in a market dominated by General Electric. 40 Dejas Mark 1 and 83 Dejas Mark 1A will be powered by F-404 IN-20 after burning turbofan engine and India's upcoming Dejas Mark 2 will also be powered by F-414. INS-6 turbofan engine which have made General Electric undisputed market leader in India as India works on development of more locally developed fighter jets to meet its demand. General Electric is likely to corner engine order and spare parts orders worth billions in coming years from India as each aircraft requires nearly 3.5 engine over its airframe life. India and the United States were long discussed to jointly develop a jet engine based on the General Electric F-414 enhanced engine for India's upcoming fifth generation fighter jets AMC but failed to set up any joint venture yet. General Electric had agreed to set up local assembly of its engine with a haul for its F-414 INS-6 turbofan engine when it won an order for 99 engine a few years back, General Electric also has agreed to set up a company-owned subsidiary in India if India agreed to buy one of the American jets in its MMRC tender. A General Electric is also willing to manufacture locally 110 knots trust class engine for India's AMC program while maintaining full control over its core technology and intellectual property rights due to which it talks between India and the United States to jointly develop a jet engine for AMC program failed to do India's instance of having Indian control over the local company and assets and transfer to the core technology. Bratton Whitney has been out of Indian market and allowed General Electric to dominate the Indian market to do India's preference of its engine which begins in the late 80s. When it was selected to power India's LCA Dejas program, F-15EX on offer to India for the first time bring Bratton Whitney developed F-100PW229 engine to India, while General Electric dominate world over the sale of its military engine in American-made jets like F-16, F-18. It also found in Cribbon T-50 and LC Dejas but Pratt & Whitney was limited to supply and maintenance of spare parts for 50 F-117 engine for the 11 C-17 Globemaster III transport in service with the IAF but Pratt & Whitney has some advantage that General Electric does not have is that both its F-119 PW-100 turbofan and f 135 engine are the only engine that are powering America's fifth generation fighter jets F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. There have been on official records that India and Bratton Whitney at any point of time had engaged with each other for the possible development of engine jointly. US government officials might allow other aero engine makers to engage with India other than electric General Electric to do prolonged stalling with the ultimately lead to the dismantling of the joint study group which was engaged in talks for joint development of the engine for the AMC program. Bratton Whitney has technology and manpower caliber to develop an engine to cater to meet the demands of the AMC program. F100PW229 engine and Offer to India with the F-15EX is not only reliable but more than 7000 F-100 engine have been produced and powers 99% of all USAF F-15 aircraft and 62% of the world inventory of F-16 fighters F-100 PW229 engine enhanced package launched in 2004 has raised the engine 
Depot inspection interval from 4300 to 6000 which can produce 129.7 knots of trust with the afterburner a detuned F100 PW229 engine enhanced package engine or a new engine based on the core technology of the same could be good enough to power AMC Mark II which India plans to put in production from 2035 onwards only it Pratt and Whitney is willing to go extra miles than General Electric in terms of sharing of the core technology.